Welcome to Toffee TV, it's the News Daily. Jean-Philippe Gabamon says that he's ready to play again once the Premier League resumes. The Everton midfield player who's been injured since August with a thigh injury is back training. He's been doing one-to-one -one sessions with Adam Newell, the physio. Um, that was undertaken by Zoom and he was at home, but now he's at Finch Farm. He's doing those one-to-one -one sessions. He's working with a ball again uh, and done some of the sessions last week. He says he's ready to join in or will be ready to join in uh, with full training within the next couple of weeks and will be ready to play some games before the end of the season. That's a massive boost for him. Um, before the season was curtailed, he was uh, looked as though he was going to be left until pre-season before he played games, but obviously this break has come and it's allowed them to get back uh, into shape and will play some par for Carlo Ancelotti, uh, you know, providing he doesn't have any complications. Says that he feels really good, feels stronger, and he's, he's doing more workload than what he would normally do in a game to ensure that the injury is, uh, is settled and his, his body can take it. So, really good news for Evan. He really will be like the, uh, the new signing, given that we've only seen him in one and a half games. So, that's a big boost to have him fit again. Uh, and hopefully he'll settle in and then uh, we can really kick start his Everton career which hasn't really got off to any kind of start at the moment um, on the back of that there is a Premier League vote tomorrow to see whether or not to move to phase two phase two includes um, training in bigger numbers the, the players are separated into groups of four or five at the moment uh, that means that they can move and train in bigger numbers leading to contact back in training and um, there was a meeting today and there will be a vote tomorrow with reports coming out the meeting that everybody is set to vote for those uh, moving to phase two where contact can be undertaken that's part of the project restart which now is scheduled to begin on june the 19th who knows evans first game could be that weekend against Liverpool, so look out for that. Uh, Evan again today linked with a move for St Etienne winger Dennis Buanga. Uh, he's rumoured to be available for around €12 million, Euros. Um, so that kind of fits in with a transfer fee that Everton will be willing to pay this summer. Obviously, he won't be making any big signings uh, for big money. It doesn't look like the financial pitch has changed right the way across Europe. Everton hit by it really hard as well. So rumours of this £40 million bid for Allen today is uh, it's just that, a massive rumour. Um, can't see Everton spending anywhere near that amount of money uh, on one player this summer, not at all, but we'll have to see. But Boanga's got 12 goals, 5 assists in 35 games for St Etienne. Le Ten Sport rumouring, uh, reporting that today, saying that they feel like he will move to Everton, so... Who knows? Uh, and Everton target Agerkin Kakir, the Turkish 24-year-old goalkeeper, has said that he is flattered to be linked with Premier League teams, um, but says that at the moment he's only thinking about traps and sports. Says the day will come when I can talk about a transfer, but that isn't at the moment, and I'm working hard to achieve my goals here at Traps and Sport. He's also been linked with a move to Liverpool and Newcastle, who are linked with everyone now as well. Uh, and finally, Sandro is reportedly available for £5 million. That's what Real Valladolid are saying. Valladolid, rather, saying that Everton um, volume of £5 million, but that's too expensive for them. They already come uh, or went on record last week saying that Sandro would have to drop his wage demands. Um, or rather his wages, what he's on at the moment, have to take considerably less if they were to be able to afford them. They're now saying that Everton's valuation of them is too high at £5 million. Pound. I don't know. I mean, Everton, have got he's got two years left on the deal. He's only 23. Spanish under-21 internationals play for Barcelona. OK, he hasn't pulled up any trees for Everton, of course he hasn't, but £5 million quid. Is it too expensive? I don't know. They think it is. We'll have to wait and see if anything develops there. That is it. Make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't joined us on Patreon, why not? Get over there and check that out as well. See you later.